I'm Nick Shell, and I love everyone. Muslims, Jews, Christians, atheists, agnostics, all the races, all the genders, everybody in between. I love everyone because I'm Nick Shell. But we're not gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about hair loss because when you leave a comment, it may show up here in case you're a new subscriber and didn't know how this thing works. All right, let's get to work. All right, this is one of the, I admit I'm not an expert on this, but have I ever been an expert? I just, I just talk and people take it seriously. So here we go. Norwood three in the third grade. That was the video I made that received this comment from Trite23. He had this to say, quote, Hey Nick, can you do a video on going bald with a weird head shape? I'm 20 and I shaved my head for the first time a few weeks ago. And my dad literally said, why did you do that? It looks so bad. End quote. He later apologized, but it made me examine my head a bit. I've noticed my head goes up to a point and there's also these indentations on the side, like a mix between a mushroom tip and a cone head from those movies. I know a lot of bald men think that they have a bad head shape when they really don't, but I can't help to notice when it's right in front of me. My cousin had the same deal and he's bald, but he wears hats all the time. My grandpa also has the, the same uh, head shape, but he wore a rug for years, I guess meaning a toupee. I'm literally pale, no jawline. Cone head now. I'm on Propecia, so I can still grow my hair back for now, but thinking about the future scares me with this cone head. Anyone else in a similar position would love a video on head shapes. It's my only struggle with balding. Good video as always, Nick. I have a cone head and I can't grow a beard. I want to pull off the bald look, but I can't. End quote. So, I very much appreciate that comment. Uh, again, I'm not here to solve the problem. But what I want to do is, is uh, create this conversation as, as if it were on some kind of uh, message board. Let's let that car go by. I'm trying to see if I recognize that song. I don't know that song. And a wasp landed on the phone just now as, it, as that happened. All right. So I don't have a solution if, if, if anyone's a conehead. But if other, there's other coneheads out there, then they can... Uh, you know, comment and, and help our friend out here. As, as, as I'm hearing this, what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking of uh, on The Simpsons, the granddad on The Simpsons. Oh, that's the head. And it's funny because actually I have a great uncle with that has always made me, he's on the Mexican side, but he's always made me think of, the, of Grandpa Simpson or whatever his name is on The Simpsons. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like Trite 23 has already kind of ruled out the obvious as far as you know, he wants to shave his head. He's already tried that. But his dad's like, what'd you do? You look weird or whatever. And then, you know, the one, rel one relative there uh, wore the hat. So, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like a good plan to me. If, if you feel comfortable using Propecia and want to do that and, and buy some time, you know, to get maybe through your early 20s and then have to become the official bald guy at the end of that. You know, it's funny, though, because and I totally recognize Certain people like me could pull off a shaved head and I've got the right, whatever it is, the ergonomics and all that. I get that. Some people have the right head shape and others do not. Others people it just doesn't work with. And especially if your skin's lighter, I've noticed that too. Fortunately, my skin's dark enough to where that's another thing I've got going for me for when that day comes when I need to just shave it off. Because <laughs> I have a, I don't know, I'm open to the possibility I'm going to go straight from a Norwood 3 to like a Norwood 5. Like... I'm kind of expecting that. But I, what I do appreciate here is Trite has a, is, is keeping a positive attitude. I like how he's planning out the future uh, with this situation, with having the, the, the cone head. I, I, I understand that it, based on what he's described, he's not the epitome of someone who can get away with pulling off the shaved head look as well as others. But what I do appreciate is, is he willing to acknowledge that and he's in that process of uh, adopting that new identity. So let's learn from anyone else who has this head shape, can't grow a beard, uh, you know, and is, is young going through all this. I mean, that's all, you've got a lot stacked up against you, but, what I, but at the same time, the advantage is that's a lot of other things that you can focus on and, be, and, and make up for in that way. Because I think ultimately that's what happens is whatever you're not good at, you become good at other things instead. Like for me, horrible at math and science, 
by default, I evolved into someone who's good at communication and English and grammar and all that stuff. And I got a degree in English because of that, because of how horrible I am at math and science. So I, I think my generic advice is let's find out what we can do to make up for that. Not necessarily in looks, but in education and in personality and skill set. I'd say that's going to be, be the thing, which I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing at all. In fact, it might actually be a better thing, a better motivational thing. That's not the advice anyone wants to hear, but try it. You sound like someone who can handle the truth. That's my unprofessional opinion. Let's see what people say in the comment section. And thanks for submitting that comment.